Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how we add the apply the assertions in the SOAP UI. So what is the assertion? Assertion is a process like by which we can validate the response value, response data of the API. Okay, SOAP UI will provide a multiple features by using that we can validate, we can verify the response, our actual response content. Okay, so as we discussed in the last session, in the last tutorial, uh, how we add the script assertions, now I'm going to show you other type of assertions. So we need to click on this add button. So click on this. So first of all, you can see we have one uh, post request where I am submitting the request and we are getting the response in the JSON format. Okay, so let me send the requ request. You can see here, we are getting the response right side panel. Okay, so now I'm going to add the assertions. So to add the assertion, first click on this add button. Okay, go to the uh, property right here. There are multiple types of assertions. So first of all, like this is the contains. Okay, contain means if we want to verify any value that exists in our response, then we will use the contains. Okay, like uh, I want to check the available or cat is exist. First, let me show you available. Okay, this is exist or not in the response. Click on okay. Okay, AVIL, AVIL, available. Okay, you ignore case completion, so we can also use this. Now you can see this is passed. Okay. If we are using uh, ignore case in completion, so your cases will ignore. And if, you, if I uncheck this, you will see this is failed. Okay, so next is a similar type. If we want to verify the uh, any value is contained in the response, then we can use the contain types. If we want to the uh, value is not exist, not contained, it should not contain in the response. Then we have another type of assertion uh, here that is known as the not contains. Okay, let me click on add. And this will check any value that is not exist in the response. If this is exist, then our test will fail. Now you can see testing is not exist in the response anywhere. That's why this is passed. Suppose that if I am add, I add here available. Click on OK. You can see this is failed because this is exist. So now accordingly we can use uh, contains and not contains. We can also check this. Ignore the case in completion. Okay. Next is the uh, SLA, okay. SLA is basically, this is service label agreement, which will verify your, uh, you are getting a response on a given time or not, within the given time or not. So this will, here we can give the response limit times. Okay, like I'm going to give here 200, and this time is millisecond. So now you can see our test is getting failed. Because our expected times we have received here 1,106 millisecond, okay? And what we have added here 200, so that's why it is failing. If I add here 2,000 millisecond, then in that case, you can see this is passed, okay? So if you want to check uh, any response time, then we can use the SLA. Now it's, you can see uh, coming 2,440 millisecond, our expected is, 200, sorry, 2000. That's why it is failing. Let me give some 4000 time. Okay, next is the script assertion I have already done in the previous uh, tutorial. You can watch that video. I have added also in the description link. Next is the HTTP status code. Invalid status code as well as the valid status code. So if we add this in a response, right? So here we need to check, it will verify uh, what code we have given that is we are getting or not. Okay, this is our actual expected code and this will validate with the response code. 
if both code are same equal then this will pass and if the code is not equal then this will work fail so like suppose that i am going to give the 201 so now we are getting the response 200 but we are expecting 201 in that case our test will fail okay so let me update this 20 Okay, here we can give the list of the uh, codes like I have given here 200 and 201. So it will check if the response code exists, the code we have provided here in this list, then in that case, this will pass. Okay, so now next is the invalid status code. Okay, so here this will provide what code we are adding here that it will check that should not exist in the response. Okay, like I have given 400, 403, 01, 403, and this will validate these code response code should not exist in the response. If I add here 200, then you can see this will fail. Okay. Okay, now next is the JSON uh, data validation. So click on the properties. You can see here there is a JSON count. Okay, now here we can verify the count, JSON count, how many JSON data we have. Okay, how we count this, create the JSON. So this is the ID. ID is a uh, object type. Okay, so that's why we can start directly from ID. You can use the Square bracket, add the ID, okay. Then select select from current. It means this will give you the current occurrence in the response. Now this is one. Click on save. Like if I am going to use the tag. Select current. You can see we have we are getting one value. Let me increase the tag, and you will see here. Okay, so currently there are one value tag. Let me add two values here. Send the request. You can see this is fail. Why this is fail? Because currently we are getting two value in tag here. One set, two set. So we need to update this with expected count. X path count. Next is the JSON path match. JSON path existence match. Okay, so this will verify any JSON path that contains the value. Okay, it will match with that value. Like if I use here ID. Okay, let me directly we can use the ID because or we can use the square bracket in both case this will work okay so this will check if this json path is exist in response or not so current is true okay select from current current is true if this is we are mentioning here true then this will verify it should exist in the response if we are giving here false it means we will verify uh, false it should not exist okay so let me add this to, and now you can see this is passed. So we can verify the JSON path, any JSON path that is exist in the response or, or not. Let me show you the category name. So you can see a category a name is category name is coming under the category. So we can use here category categories object then dot name. This is the path. Select the current, you can see true, test this, you will get pass, okay, save this. Now similar type, if you want to use the, uh, verify the tag name, so we can use here tags, tags is the ID type, so we will use here the index, I am giving index one, okay, then dot name, so this will check if tags zero, name is, is exist or not so current is true okay so let me give the id you can see id is also true id one this is not exist we will get here false so accordingly we can validate we can add our assertions 
to verify JSON path is exist or not. Next is the JSON path match. This will verify the JSON path contains value or not. Like if I am using ID select from, you can see here 100. So this ID is JSON path at the root and we are getting the value. And if I click on the test, then you can see response content, response matches content for ID successfully. If I give here tags, okay, select the current value, you can see complete JSON value will, tags value will, you can see here. Okay, click on the test, you will see here that this is passed. Click on the save and you will get like this. Let me update this also for ID, just add the ID. So we need to pass like index zero, then dot ID. It means first tags value. Select this, you will get the value, current value. So current value is zero. Test this, this will verify, this will match. If you want to validate the name value, select this strings and save this. So now uh, I have added the assertions accordingly. What type of assertion you want, you can use that. What properties, what JSON value you want to verify, you can add that. Okay, once your assertion is done, then just use the send the request, okay, and validate. You can create multiple assertions, like here one JSON path I created. We can also create the JSON path for other, okay? Like uh, JSON path two, here I'm going to use the tags. Select current, this is current value, click on save. And the JSON matcher, I match I have added. So let me add more. Uh, JSON match, okay, to here I'm going to verify category. Select current, validate, click on save. Okay, so multiple assertion, as much as assertion you want, you can add here as per your requirement. Once your assertion is done, just save this and run your test script, okay, and save your project. Now these assertion, what you have applied, that will save in your SOAP UI XML file. And when you will import or you will open, that will be available, that will not delete. Okay, so there are some assertions also available for the uh, XML, XML response, okay? So let me show you. Okay, so now we have another APIs request, right? This is the SOAP API where I am using the uh, one request and sending this SOAP re request and then getting the response, SOAP response, okay? So now here we can validate, we can add the, some other type of assertions which are specific to the SOAP request. Okay, so let me send the request. You can see I am sending the request to get the uh, currency uh, details. This is INR. So in response, we are getting the ISO code as well as the country name, okay? So now if I want to add assertion, so click on this assertion buttons and then click on the plus button, okay? Here you will get some more uh, compliances, okay? Like no so far, this one, click on this, add this. So basically this will verify the response what we are getting, there is no so far. All the schema, all these details are correct. There is no uh, fault, okay? Similar type, there is a, another type of like uh, uh, options so far. So this will verify, if you want to verify that we have some fault in the response, means our expected, uh, response data has some so far so you can use this if there is no so far then this will mark the test fail right now here you can see response has not a so far that's why we are getting failure okay let me show next one next is also schema compliances this will also verify the uh, so, right, that is following the schema compliances or not. So for that, we can use this assertion. Okay, 
Okay, soap response, this will also like similar type the soap, for, uh, soap, okay, uh, no soap fault, which will be validate your response is properly and there is no fault. Okay, so now next is the, here we have also uh, X path. Okay, X path match where we can validate the value by using the X path. Okay, click on this add. Okay, click on declare. You will get the namespace here. Okay, and then we can use the X path. What value we are going to verify, we can use. Like if I want, want to verify ISO, then M colon S ISO code. Select this. This is the AMS name. You can see here is coming the India. Okay, so this will verify the value uh, from the response that yes name is uh, should be the India. Similar time we can add other X path match. Okay, click on this second X path where we can validate. First, declare the uh, namespace. Okay, then slash M ISO code. Click on select, you will see this value. Okay, click on save button. So using X path, you can validate exact X path node value. If this value is not correct, okay, then this will fail. Like I'm giving here wrong name. Okay, you can see this is failed. Yes, path query, we can also apply uh, this assertion, uh, this assertion to verify by using the X path query, which will validate the value. Namespace, AM, code, select this, we can validate. Okay, save this. So uh, in this way, you can use all these assertions were required in your test script. Okay, thanks for watching the video.